Hello students, welcome to the channel. Hope you did well with the question paper. As you can see that it is approximately equal to 80% of the model paper which we had floated on the channel. Let us start solving the paper. It is a 70 mark question paper as we gave in the model paper with seven questions in section A two mark each. Let us begin. Please subscribe to the channel if you want a free PDF of the file being uh, shown to you here on the screen. Question section A carried two mark questions, seven questions each. The first question was write down the Planck's expression or the formula for spectral energy density in black body radiation. They have not asked you to derive it. They have only asked you to write the formula. So the formula, you can either write it in terms of frequency or you can write it in terms of wavelength. Both are correct and you will fetch your two marks for the answer. Next question. Two marks, what do you understand by phase velocity and group velocity? So one mark for phase velocity and one mark for group velocity. Then you can also state that group velocity may be greater or less than the phase velocity. Phase velocity is given by frequency into wavelength and omega is angular frequency. K is wave number. Group velocity U is d omega by dk. Continuity equation in differential form divergence j plus del rho by del t equal to 0. Here j is you will get one mark for writing the expression. Another one mark where you will explain the expressions in the equation that j is current density, rho is charge density. And it shows that electric charges can neither be created nor destroyed in macroscopic quantities. What do you understand by coherent sources? A very simple question. Coherent sources, they are the basic conditions for us to observe interference fringe pattern. Two sources having constant phase difference and originating from the same source are known as coherent sources. So two marks for that. Population inversion in laser. Laser action is achieved when number of atoms in the excited state is greater than that in the ground state. This is known as population inversion, one necessary condition for laser action. Applications of nanomaterial, you can write anything which you are comfortable in writing like nanoparticles are used as catalysts in boosting chemical reactions, nano coatings are being used in various consumer products or nanotubes are replacing the usual silicon tubes etc. Any two differences between single mode and multi-mode step index fiber. You have to write any two. So the single mode, the has a fiber has narrow core of 10 micrometer in diameter and used for high speed, large bandwidth and long distances. Whereas multi-mode fibers have wide core of 50 micrometer in diameter and causes the broadening of light pulse, reducing the transmission speed and transmission band. Now, this question was a bit away from what they usually ask where they give the physical significance of wave function. Here, seven mark question, they are expecting you to discuss the physical significance of wave function which was given by Max Born. So, how will they give the seven marks for, to you for it? See, firstly, you will have to tell what a wave function is. So, a wave function in quantum physics is a mathematical description of the quantum state of an isolated quantum system. It is a complex valued probability amplitude and the probabilities for the possible result of measurement made on the system derived from it.
and according to Born's rule, this wave function will only be acceptable in quantum physics if it is single valued, continuous and finite. Till here, even if you manage to write out of seven marks, you can easily fetch two and a half to three marks. Next, you have to be more clear in explaining the word single valued, normalized, continuous and finite to fetch your other marks. So mathematically, probability density uh, wave function square is equal to wave function into its complex conjugate. That means complex phi is equal to A plus IB and the normal one phi is equal to A minus IB. So wave function along with its complex conjugate should be normalized. This is the necessary condition for this wave function to be acceptable. And probability density d tau is equal to dx dy dz mod gamma square d tau. And wave functions satisfying the above relationships are known as normalized wave functions. So you have to basically enhance the theory of these points while explaining this answer for you to get it is a theoretical answer. Next, what do you understand by displacement, current and skin depth? Maxwell's fourth equation introduced the concept of adding the uh, phenomena of displacement. So this is the modified form of a Maxwell's fourth law where VD is electric displacement vector. It is displacement current is only current in the sense that it is producing a magnetic field. Otherwise, it is not having any of the properties of current. Skin depth, depth in which the strength of electric field associated with electromagnetic wave reduces to 1 upon E times of its initial value. You can draw this graph because now these questions are theoretical. Fetching you 3.5, 3.5 makes it 7 marks. So you should be drawing diagrams, explaining it with the help of equations or the formula. What do you understand by Fraunhofer diffraction? Ratio of intensity. So seven marks if it is there, they will give me two and a half to three marks for making this diagram of single slit where I will show what is the source, the lenses, the single slit width, my screen and how the fringe pattern is getting formed. Then I will derive my expression for the resultant uh, intensity of diffracted rays and intensity is square of resultant for maxima minima condition. Accordingly, I will put my conditions and numerically when I will put their values, I will get my series. All this has been explained in great detail in the diffraction topics of the playlist. This will fetch me seven marks. Explain any three applications of optical fiber. You can pick up any three applications with which you are comfortable. They are not binding you to write specific. They are saying wherever you are comfortable, you write optical fiber. Common ones are used in the communication industries where they are replacing the traditional electric wires, they are being used in defense purposes, they are being used in almost so many industries these days, especially for broadcasting, etc. Explain type 1 and type 2 superconductors in detail. Now, this question again is theoretical. So, try to draw the diagram first of type 1 superconductor, then show that they are the soft types they are following the complete Meissner effect. They are showing the diamagnetic properties. That will fetch you your three and a half marks out of seven. And for type two, draw the diagram. In the diagram itself, try to show the points that it is showing complete diamagnetism till one critical magnetic field. Then it shows a mixed state and then the normalized state. They are the hard type of superconductors. They do not return back to their normal state easily, etc. 
Compton effect derive an expression for Compton wavelength shift and now along with it they have given you a numerical. So they will break up the marks either for the expression they will put it three, three and a half and for the numerical three or three and a half. Yes, in the question paper 9.1 into 10 to the power of minus three is there. It should be minus 31. Now, Compton effect is an important effect because it is demonstrating that light cannot be explained as a pure wave phenomena. It is combining the other form also and a shift in wavelength has been observed. Formula is del lambda is equal to H upon M naught C into 1 minus cos theta. They have given theta as 90 degree. Lambda, they are saying that it is suffering a change of wavelength of 2 lambda and H upon M naught C. Finally, we are putting the values. Then we are changing. Either we can change the answer to angstrom, leave it as angstrom or change it into meter or centimeter. This will not affect the numerical value of my answer. So here I can easily get my one mark if I write the formula. If I put the correct values in the formula, I can get around one and a half marks for the same. Another remaining marks I will get if I solve these powers correctly and give the correct numerical value. Schrodinger equation. Once again, you can refer to the lecture of Schrodinger equation in the playlist where they have given and they are expecting you to derive the eigenvalues. So, En is equal to N square pi square H bar square upon 2 ML square. Next, equation for simple plane electromagnetic wave from Maxwell's equations and show that they are transverse in nature. So, you pick up from the Maxwell, uh, this equations from the free space and then accordingly, step by step, you derive the answer showing that they are transverse in nature because the E and H field vectors are coming perpendicular to each other. Pointing theorem, this is an energy expression in electromagnetic field. And they are asking you to explain the meaning of each term here. That high half epsilon naught E square is energy density due to electric field. Half mu H square energy density due to magnetic field. And then they want you to derive the expression, which is very simple. You pick it up from Maxwell's equations, multiply on either side, subtract, and simply in the third step, you get your expression for pointing equation. Here, the term J dot E D V represents rate of transfer of energy into electromagnetic field due to motion of charges. This term here, E dot D plus H dot B represents total energy due to electric field, magnetic field, and E cross H is the pointing vector. Then they are asking you interference in thin films. So this is a simple question. You can just show the very simple ray diagram where fringes are getting formed due to interference of thin films when they are getting reflected from the upper and lower surfaces of a thin film. Then simple formulas you will put and you will come across the expression for path difference equal to 2 mu t cos r with applying of Stokes law, it becomes plus minus lambda by 2. For the maxima and minima intensity conditions, you can just show like this. Numerical, this is the diameter of nf dark ring is given by dn square is equal to 4n lambda r. Here they have given n 15th dark ring. R 100 centimeter, you can change it into meter or keep the whole expression in centimeter. That is not a problem. Then lambda, they have given 6000 angstrom. One angstrom is 10 to the power of minus 10 meter. So the whole has been changed into meter. Putting the values here in dn, then taking square root, we get diameter of the 50. Dark ring as 6 into 10 to the power of minus 3 meter. 
really criteria of resolution and you have to discuss the relation between resolving power and dispersive power. This I think they have asked after a long time. So really criteria of resolution states that two nearby point objects are said to be just resolved if the position of central maximum of diffraction pattern of one coincides with the first minimum of the diffraction pattern of the other. And then they are saying that discuss the resolving power of plane transmission grating. So you have to discuss about the resolving power that is lambda upon d lambda, which is equal to n into n, where n is order of the spectra and capital N is total number of lines on the grating. Then they are asking you to find a relation between the two. So this is something new. We know that grating equation for plane transmission grating from normal incidence is given by E plus D sine theta equal to N lambda. Here E plus D is grating element that is slit width plus opaque space. Theta is angle of diffraction for nth order of the spectrum. Dispersive power D theta by D lambda is N upon E plus D into cos theta. Resolving power is lambda upon d lambda equal to n into n. Now, how what we will do, we will multiply and divide by e plus d cos theta and then put the value of d theta upon d lambda equal to n upon e plus d into cos theta and we get resolving power is equal to n into e plus d cos theta d theta by d lambda. So here this expression n into e plus d cos theta is equal to total aperture of grating. So resolving power is equal to total aperture of grating into dispersive power. Even if you could not manage this, but you have managed the other two parts, you will get four out of seven. Then this optical fiber question where you have to find the numerical aperture expression. This is also there in my video lectures in the playlist. Attenuation in optical fiber. Again, a theoretical question. Then absorption, spontaneous and stimulated emission of radiation. This is there in the laser chapter of the playlist in my video lectures and they have asked you to find the relation between Einstein's coefficient. Meissner effect and persistent current and superconductivity where you have to show that magnetic lines of force are repelled from inside because of the diamagnetic nature of the superconducting material. And then you have to explain persistent current that is current of large magnitude is induced in the superconducting ring then the current persists in the ring even after removal of field for some time this is known as persistent current what are nanomaterials nanomaterials can be defined as those materials which has structured components with size less than 100 nanometer and basic concept of quantum dot, quantum wire and quantum well that is one dimensional, two dimensional and three dimensional. You can explain either this way, zero dimension, one dimension, two dimension, three dimension, mentioning their properties in detail and just write a short note on their dimensional analysis, quantum dot, quantum wire and quantum well. Thank you.